In this video, I will show you how to fix you need the official WhatsApp to log in, an error that is experienced by modified WhatsApp users such as GB WhatsApp, TM, FM or even your WhatsApp. So the reason I why this is happening is because WhatsApp is currently detecting and banning accounts that are using unofficial versions of WhatsApp. So the reason I why I'm making this video is because apparently some people even if they try to uninstall that modified whatsapp and they install the official version they still get this error and therefore i'm going to take you through an alternative through which you can fix this now before i show you that i want to first clarify on the solution that most youtubers are recommending that you have to contact whatsapp support honestly this doesn't work because if you do so you either get an automated response or you'll still get a response that suggests you to install the official version of whatsapp so therefore the solution is first of all you need to uninstall that modified version of whatsapp but before you do that you first go to your file manager then from there you go to your phone then select internal storage so from there you go ahead and search for the folder that contains the name of the modified whatsapp so for example for my case it's gb whatsapp but if you're using fm whatsapp you search for the one that contains fm whatsapp so when you open, you will see media, databases, backups, and so on. So you select media, and then you make sure that you rename where there is GB WhatsApp, you put WhatsApp. So you rename all those folders. So where there is GB WhatsApp images, you put WhatsApp images, WhatsApp GB WhatsApp video to WhatsApp, and so forth. So then after that, you can now go ahead and uninstall that modified version of WhatsApp. So you can go to your home screen long press on the gb whatsapp icon or fm then select uninstall so after uninstalling then now you head on to your play store app search for whatsapp and then you install that whatsapp the official version now so after installing then you go ahead and register with the very phone number that was banned on the other modified version of whatsapp but as I mentioned earlier on, that in case after installing this official version of WhatsApp, you still get that error, then now that means you'll need a second phone. So that second phone is going to act as your primary phone. Then this one through which you're experiencing the error is going to act as your secondary phone. Now the reason here is if you try registering the same phone number on a WhatsApp of a different device, you find that it works on that device and only doesn't work on your primary on your secondary device so that is why you need that second phone so that you can register that phone number on that second phone and then now you can link that whatsapp to this phone which doesn't allow you to register the number so to do that you're going to go to that secondary phone i mean to that primary phone or to that second phone in simplest terms install the official official version of whatsapp on that phone after installing you go ahead and register that phone number the one that is getting an error on the secondary phone or on your first phone and then after registering then now you need to install whatsapp also on this first phone of yours the one that was getting an error which i called the secondary phone so now after installing where there is an option of registering the phone number you don't do so what you're going to do is you're going to click on the three dots at the top right corner then select link as companion device then it will generate a qr code that you're going to scan using your primary phone which i called the second phone so to do so you're going to open whatsapp on your second phone where you registered the number from and then you click on the three dots at the top right corner and then you select linked devices then you go ahead and select link a device then you will be able to scan this qr code and once the scan is, is successfully done then now you'll be able to use whatsapp on this first phone of yours even when the other one is offline but to keep this link to whatsapp active you need to ensure that you log into the other one where you registered the phone number from every 14 days but of course the only challenge is that in this linked whatsapp you won't be able to post on your status so it is just a temporal solution but after some time you can try registering on this main phone also and then you see whether it works 
but i'll keep you posted on more solutions whenever i get any so be sure to subscribe turn on the notification bell so that you'll be updated every time i make a new video so thanks for watching if this works for you give a thumbs up and also drop a comment in the comment section and share this to your friends as well and see you in the next one